What's up guys, we are here right now at Koma. I'm really excited. This is a French village up in the high mountains of Bukit Tinggi Pahang, about 2,600 feet above sea level. And check it out, this place is so beautiful has that nice tropical yet mix of a highlands feel and I just love how picturesque it is. Let's take a look. Wow, look at this guys, so beautiful. We are at Coma Tropical or the French village place. So this was inspired by a place in France called Coma also and now you can just see that they built this into some kind of attraction place for tourists to visit. It's really very calming and picturesque. So this is an accommodation place where you can stay. Snacks here, you can have like donuts and also restaurants. Even the floor reminds me of those um, kind of old school cobblestones in Europe. Look, we have Starbucks over here. We're gonna grab a cup of coffee because I'm so hungry. It's like 10.40 now. Walking up the tower now to see the view of this little town. We made it. Look at this view, it's so beautiful. The lush green forest behind me. Reminds me of Cameron Highlands actually. This is the top view. What do you guys think? Okay, so we're about to leave Koma. So my opinion is this place is pretty dead. You can see there's like hardly anyone. And there's also not many things to do. Like there's not many different attractions. It's very small, almost like, I don't know, just like a tiny block of shops around. So yeah, you can definitely just spend like maybe just one hour max on our max here to just take pretty pictures and admire the view Whew. okay so we drove a little higher up to the highlands now we're on the way to the Japanese garden or the Japanese village garden in fact so there are two here one is the botanical which is behind me botanical garden the one I want to see is on the top here Japanese garden so apparently it's very zen and you can also rent Japanese costumes to walk around and take photos I'm quite unsure if I'll ever do that At the top, there's this little shed here where you can rent the kimonos like right here. There's so many you can try out here. There's like a tiny zen Japanese shed over here too. Just feels so calming over here, especially with all of the water streams and the koi fishes. Wow, this is a really tiny space. The door is so tiny, I don't think I can even fit inside. Okay. Wow. Love these little steps here. And check out all the coins. So many of them in this crystal clear, tiny river. It's time for lunch! We're here at this Chinese restaurant called Summer Park Restaurant at the foothill of Bukit Tinggi. So we came down from the hill and it's starting to rain now actually. So we're gonna have lots of good Chinese food. 
and it's an open area where there's actually a nice view of greenery inside behind it. It's not often you find a restaurant with an orchard behind it. So they're growing some of vegetation here and fruits. It just looks so calm and peaceful. This is my favorite drink at this restaurant. A huge picture of fresh passion fruit juice. Look at all of those seeds. And what I like is really concentrated and pure. So refreshing. I can even crunch on the seeds. Mmm, and it's so fragrant and citrusy. My favorite sweet and sour pork, so delicious. Just look at that succulent color, and it's also really crispy. Here we have Lala noodles, and I love it because it's full of ginger and garlic. So refreshing. It has a burst of flavors, especially with that cilantro, which I know a lot of people hate. Last but not least, we have over here braised fish, which is a species called Pak Sokong. I think that's what it's called. Really flavorful soy sauce, super juicy. Yes, right. Yes,